Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. It's Lavender here, and today I am back with another book review video. Today, comrades, I'm going to be reviewing the book that's called Daughter of Cura by Deborah Austin that was released slash published on August 4th, 2009. So let's get started into this video. So yeah, this book is about a society of Homo erectus, um, one of the ancestors to humans. A girl called Snap is the main character and is the third in line to be the mother, the leader of her uh, village of Cura, a small village in Africa. This whole thing takes place around 500,000 years ago, aka half a million years ago, you know, in, in like I think Eastern Africa, if I think, if I'm correct. Snap, well no, Eastern South Africa, sorry, Eastern South Africa, I think. Snap challenges the evils of a stranger, and the stranger's growing power, and she tried way too many times, and is brutally cast out to survive on her own, or perish. Abandoned and alone, she risks her own life and the future of her entire people and village as a whole to stand up against an unthinkable evil, and the evils of the stranger that came, and standing up for what she believes in and, you know, to save her own people. So what I really liked about this book is I really liked the fact that this is like a science historical fiction like book. Just like the uh, the um, review I did about Dreamweaver, you know, it, it reminds me of historical fiction. It's like very science like. And, you know, because Homo, Homo erectus was an extinct ancestor to Homo sapiens, aka humans. And I am an avid science, you know, enthusiast, and I love basically everything science related. Like, I really like this, like, science historical fiction book. I really have never came across anything like this. So, I, this is a really, really good book, and that's what I really like about this book. It's, it's so different than other books I've ever read. You know what I'm saying? The one thing I, I disliked about the book was I wish the book had sequels to it and not just one, like, sole book, honestly. I feel like this could have been made into, like, a series. Kind of like, you know how the Warrior Cat series had one book and then it turned into a whole series? I felt like The Daughter of Cura could have been, like, a whole book series, honestly. That's the one thing I dislike about it. And uh, to sum up the review, I give this book a 5 out of 5. I personally love this book. It's my second favorite book of all time. I really, really enjoyed it. A lot of people did not enjoy it. They were not fans of this book, honestly. Um, this book was usually like three stars, but I gave it a five out of five because I really, 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 really love this book. And I really, really recommend this book. If you're into science or historical fiction, I definitely recommend this book. So yeah, if you guys like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye guys, next video.